guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Flex Giving People. Oh, okay. The card breathes just popped out. Um, so I figured I'd do a little bit more in-depth reading for you. Uh, this is going to be a divine, uh, divine masculine reading. I'm not going to look at those cards. Um, but, it, <laughs> but um, okay, I'm being distracted here. So I am going to be doing a divine masculine reading for September the seventh. Or sorry, hold on a minute. Uh, August the thirty-first until um, September the fourteenth. So it's a two-week period. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to stop shuffling. So I'm going to be using the Call It Baron Read Wisdom Oracles. Um, I want to give a little bit more in-depth reading for you. So this is a, a more focused message. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more reading from the book than I normally do. And if need be, I will use my cards as clarifiers. So let me just pull the cards first. So let's see here. I'll do um, a split divine partnership reading. So I'm, I'm back on Facebook. I decided to take my own advice and not close myself off. Although I need a rest, um, I'm going with the flow and embracing the energy. Okay, so beginning with how the masculine... Let me just put these down so you can see the cards. Okay, so how the masculine sees this connection. To be fair, so number 38, let me read that for you. So this is all about balance. Um, and, you know, giving, I guess. So number 38. Okay, so the meaning, balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time, they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving to letting go, to being again. Life is the pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at the moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment. Um, and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. So the relationship message. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned, and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. So he, I'm almost feeling like he's arrived at this state where he wants to be open. He wants to share, you know, um, not only in communication, but, you know, what he hopes for the future, what he would like things, how you'd like things to be, um, you know, sharing his emotions, just being open is what I'm seeing here. I'm also feeling a sense of balance and harmony within this connection that, you know, there's a karmic energy, uh, and it's a positive one. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling like an even flow of energy between the two. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so what is he resisting? Communication, message in a bottle. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I was just thinking, um, I listened to the last reading that I had just done a couple of days ago, and the reason why is because I noticed that some of the comments and my emails were picking up on kind of a sad tone. Um, I wanted to see, you know, listen to my own voice and the vibration that I was sending out um, and hoping to be able to correct myself. Um, but I actually fell asleep. <laughs> Halfway through, I fell asleep. And, you know, what? it wasn't a deep um, sleep. My voice kept on waking me up. Um, it, it was kind of a weird thing. It's like I'd, I'd fall into unconsciousness and listening to your own voice, um, speaking to you. It's, it's this weird, um, mirroring of myself. I could see myself from a, an outside perspective. It's like I was listening to myself, but it wasn't myself. I was listening to somebody else. It was really strange. But anyway, um, you know, I saw the message that I was sending out in a more expansive way. And I could see how I was being constrictive. So again, that was another reason why I decided to turn Facebook back on. I can feel my energy closing off. Although I'm trying to protect my energy, um, you know, you, again, you got to really be careful about how you go about doing that. Just stay open and give unconditional love to all. So I'm pointing to the Four of Cups, um, which was the final outcome for the feminine side on the, you know, the Twin Flame reading. So it was the Four of Cups, the, I don't know, the Three of Swords was in there. And then I pulled the clarifier for the Three of Swords, which was uh, the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is someone who becomes closed off and is ready to detonate. So, oh yeah, that's right. The other two cards were, um, I think it was a Ten of Cups or something. I don't know. And then the, remember guys, I fell asleep during this time. So, um, it was a Ten of Cups and the, I think the, uh, Heart Chakra. So there was two opposing energies. There's an unconditional love and then there was a closed off heart. So in my, you know, unconscious state, I could see that vibration you know within myself anyway um so message in a bottle communication a sign uh a cleto i don't know what that is the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker pointing the way to your highest good um spirit sends you signs when you ask for them when you believe you will receive them and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens, they may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your eyes open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. So it's in his resisting position. So I'll read the protection message. Are you refusing to acknowledge the signs because you want things as you want them? Red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They are warnings. Um, they are warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right with you, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. Don't ignore the signs. Spirit always has your best interests at heart and will draw your attention to what you are overlooking. So he's overlooking something um, and or refusing to see something. So it's in his resisting position. So I will pull clarifier for that. So let me just get my cards a quick shuffle here. So I'm just going to pull one or more if I have to. Okay, so Five of Pentacles. 
The Five of Pentacles is uh, feeling left out in the cold, feeling alone, feeling disconnected. Um, there's a sense of material loss that goes along with the card as well, but you're disconnecting or resisting disconnecting from something in the 3D reality. And so you're ignoring all the red flags that are going off in your environment. Um, you don't feel like you belong and you know and you're getting all these synchronistic signs and, and you're ignoring it and is you know it requires whatever these signs and synchronicities that you're getting it's like pointing towards the fact that you need to let something go or walk away from something but um or it's pointing to the to how it's making you feel, you know, feeling alone, feeling disconnected. Well, that's because you are ignoring the universe. You know, they're trying to tell you something and you're not listening. Okay, so the message from your higher self, ah, loyal heart. Okay, so the essential meaning, fidelity, loyalty, devotion. So the oracle message, evidence of, a, of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they, have, they are faithful to you, and you will in turn commit fully to them. Uh, there is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you, no matter the outer circumstances in your life. Trust and have faith. For you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. So the relationship message. Your partnership, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest, devotion, faithfulness, and loyal heart are all being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is a time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. So... You know, this is a message from this higher self, um, you know, and what I really fe feel here is a twin flame connection, right? We've got these two owls, two wise souls, um, and they see themselves in each other. And so because it's a message from the higher self, um, the masculine's higher self is telling them to look to true love or uncondi unconditional love, see it for what it is. There's no, um, there's no feeling of aloneness there. There's only harmony. There's balance. Um, and that you're not alone. That there is somebody there who loves you unconditionally. So it's almost like the masculine is looking at the feminine and realizing these qualities in her. And... Um, admiring her on some level because he can see himself in her through her eyes but there's a definite feeling of commitment coming from the masculine and I'm feeling the collective right now I'm really feeling that love and I can see like that it's beautiful heart shaped here as well okay anyway um, so commitment, loyalty. So the past position is building blocks. I just want to look at this one real quick. Okay, so I got them kind of upside down here. All right, so past position, loyal, or sorry, uh, building blocks. So this is a firm foundation. It's working towards building stability in your life. Um, yeah, foundation and grounded energy. Okay, so number 28. Okay, so the meaning. Strong foundations, a beautiful work in progress. You have everything you need to cultivate an ex extraordinary life. This is a time when your focus need, sorry, needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and 
your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as a solid grounding upon which you're, you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. So the relationship message. When you see this card, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones you already have by building them on foundations of honesty, humility, clear communication, and genuine desire to know one another. You're moving toward laying the groundwork for a relationship with a firm footing that will ensure it can withstand the storm, any storm. Long-standing relationships are always repaired and strengthened, or sorry, are also repaired and strengthened. You and the other person are stronger, wiser, and more powerful together than apart. So he's realizing this, you know, he's making a lot of connections with this twin flame connection. You can see how it has withstood the test of time, um, that it's weathered many storms and, you know, whether it be the masculine pushing away or the feminine pushing away, they always seem to come back together at some point. There's this strong magnetic attraction and pull towards one another. So he's making realizations about this connection and how he feels about her and how strong and solid this connection is and balanced as well. Okay, so present moment by the book. I don't think I've seen that one. It's number 11 as well. Okay, so the essential meaning, abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting culture, or family customs, universal laws. The oracle message, the universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that work provides a framework for, sorry, that provides a framework for human experiences and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order. <clears throat> sorry, laws keep social order and govern behaviors, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them, rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws. It will be easier to go by the book at this time. So the relationship message, getting along with others, entails understanding and respecting um, who they have become as a result of their environment, culture, experiences. Find the middle ground that allows a relationship to flourish while honoring the individuality of the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way that you want them to. Your connection will deepen as a result. So, yeah, what I'm, I'm, what I'm feeling here is just a release, just allowing things to happen um, not controlling an environment or a situation. It's, you know, it's almost like this higher level of awareness has been attained by the masculine. You know, um, the ego tends to control us and the ego is all about fear. Um, so if you get involved with say like a karmic relationship, there's a sense that you, you know, you're losing out if, um, if you split up with with them or what have you, you know, if you go your separate ways, then there's going to be a huge loss. And um, so what I'm feeling here, you know, if say, you know, masculine needs to leave a karmic relationship, um, 
he's willing to do it and he's willing to do it in a, a an honorable way yeah. one that is fair to be fair one that is going to protect those he loves um and build a foundation you know for the future for the, his loved ones so it isn't like this energy of you know i want this i want that and i'm going to fight to get it and keep it at all costs um there's a feeling of like a realization of well you know what this is not that important if it means that others you know are going to benefit more from it than i will then yes i'm going to release it allow it to be um and you know just let karma play out i'm feeling karma is big in this reading right now okay so i'm just going to pull one clarifier for that oh, okay so two came out so we have the seven of pentacles and the page of wands so the Seven of Pentacles is a pregnant pause. It's a reevaluation phase. So the masculine is looking at the things that he's acquired in the past, the abundance, all the work that he's put into to things. He knows that he's going to be receiving reward. There's going to be a harvest coming, but he's considering what to do um, with that abundance. You know, where should he... How should he spread it? You know, to be fair, how is everybody going to benefit from it? So if you give to the universe, the universe will repay with more abundance in your life. So he's re-evaluating. I'm also seeing a feminine energy here waiting, okay? Um, so it's almost like he's picking up on this vibration, Um there's a sense that he needs to make a decision or there's the wait is almost over. And I say that because of the page of wands. Uh, the page of wands is a brand new beginning. Aha moment, epiphany. Um, it's excitement at this, you know, the new idea or new life. So it's starting from zero, very similar energy to the fool card, but um, it's more spiritually aligned. So, this also, you know, the Page of Wands is a messenger. So this is great communication, great news, um, very excited energy. It's like he receives that reward or payoff. Um, and so he's hopeful. He feels grounded and excited. So this is something that he's passionate about. Okay. So the future position, yin, nice. So number two, so yin is a female energy, a divine feminine. So yin, the feminine, oh, one moment. Sorry about that. Okay, so essential meaning the feminine principle of receptivity letting someone else make the first move gathering information and taking its cues the art of conscious allowing this is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await <laughs> that's freaking hilarious because um oh, i'm sorry i can't remember your name but a, a masculine commented on a feminine video and he's like am i the only dude that you know relates to this video and he really felt that he was embracing the feminine aspect of himself. And so, you know, that's what this reading is all about. Like, lately I've been relating to the masculine side more. Um, so, you know, the masculine is the left side of your brain. So it's a logical side, the unemotional, the kind of uh, logical, you know. Um, and they're, it's more of a scientific, you know, thought-based kind of energy. Whereas the feminine side is more open, they're more, you know, um, creative. Um, they're more about manifesting, drawing things into the 3D reality. 
uh, and they're all about unconditional love, 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 nurturing kind of energy. So the it feels to me like the masculine is really embracing the feminine side with this card, but also, um, I'll continue to read, but the other message I got as well is um, the masculine is really seeing the feminine um, as being in a surrendered state, you know, handing the reins over to the masculine, um, not chasing, not running, not longing, not desiring. And through that release, um, there's a sense that it, it, there's an airiness about it. There's an openness. Um, you know what I mean? Like I leave it to you. I put it in your hands. Um, you know, you reach out to me when you're ready. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. Okay. So the Oracle message, this is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you. Grady, accept it when it appears. The end does not involve frozen dreams or even re resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. Oh my God, isn't that what I was saying earlier? It's like, you know, instead of me being closed off, I'm opening up, I'm allowing um, things to happen. I'm going with the flow. Uh, so it says it implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. So, you know, although there's a sense of him being in a pause, it's um, contemplation and reevaluation. Um, seeing how to spread yourself uh, rather than being constrictive. And so he's making some realizations, having some epiphanies, seeing this different form of reality and life taking shape. And it's because he's embracing the feminine side. He's being more open to it. Um, but also he's observing the feminine. I'm picking up that definitely you know, that he is, he's observing her and her actions um, to see how it will affect his life as well as, you know, his loved ones. So, okay. Um, so the message from the universe is between worlds. Yes, that's definitely what I'm feeling. He's in a state of transition. This indicates an action, but all the other cards is grounded energy, looking for fairness. Uh, so yeah, the universe says you're between worlds and that's what you are. And got a two to three, I just noticed. Sorry if you can hear my stomach grumbling. <laughs> I worked as a hygienist all day and so I'm just getting off work and I felt inspired to do the reading. So here I am. Anyway, haven't eaten supper yet. All right, so between worlds, transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. And that's what I was picking up too with, you know, there's something that he needs to release and um, he's contemplating how to release it. So it's, let's see here, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another, temporary blindness, no man's land. So the oracle message, between worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place, between what was and what will be, is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within the divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, and beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing at a rainbow for the first time. Do so and you will not be disappointed. Wow. And there's that observing the feminine, observing a different reality. Relationship message. 
This is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment of certainty, but rather the discovery of curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. There's that twin flame energy again. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. Yes, it is. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. So again, with that contemplative energy, really looking at everything and seeing it through different eyes, a different light, observing. So your external environment, and this is usually the position that I like to reserve for the feminine. How does he, you know, how what energy is being sent to him from the feminine? The fates, very cool cards. Wow. So what I'm really feeling with this is the feminine, you know, surrendering, releasing, letting fate take its course. Do you know what I mean? Allowing fate to bring the two of you together rather than trying to make things happen. So the meaning, the law of giving and receiving. Wow. So many of this law kind of energy. This one, this one, and this one is is karma and destiny and structure rules, constrictive energy. Okay, so um, the law of giving and receiving currency trade-offs weighing costs and determining value. You're entering into a productive enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them, yet in order to honor them, you must put in time, exchange your experiences and, and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. Commitment. So you can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. So again, repeated theme that he's, he's trying to figure out a way to spread his energy, give, rather than you know, what can I have? So the relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force energy between beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order to love, in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow in t between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you as well as offers, uh, as well as Offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. Oh my God, I can't wait for men. Um, oh my God, Mercury retrograde to be done. My brain, no think well, no speak well. Okay, so he can, again, sense that balanced energy um, flowing to him. Um, a release, you know, an allowance. Uh, there's no pressure. Uh, yeah, so again, there's this epiphany, this realization, you know, of this unconditional true love. There's no strings attached to it. But what does he fear? Round and round. Again, karmic energy. Wow. Okay, so number 25. Okay, so the essential meaning, the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. 
The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward, the truth is that you are standing at a higher level. Oh my God, that's what I was saying about my dream is like seeing things from an expansive point of view. Um, you know, this, it wasn't really an unconscious dream. It was more of a conscious dream. It was a, you know, astral projection in a way. Okay, anyway, um, looking down into your circumstances, you will learn something, do something better, or break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned. So the relationship message. Are you wondering, how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar. Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating the old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintances, uh, with your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Uh, your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the per per perfection of spirit spirit's plan oh my god for your evolution you have you may have circled back to an accustomed spot a familiar place but that's fine uh, as you get to do things again only differently this time for you've learned something of great value since the last time around how will you choose to behave now that you're aware remain curious and stay out of bl the blame game so you know, that kind of points to this card up here again. He's, you know, resisting seeing red flags. He's resisting releasing something. Um, and it, it's kind of, you know, the pinnacle energy is your 3D reality. And same thing with the Seven of Pentacles. And there's a heavily, re, you know, 3D reality with this card as well. So it's like he's built a foundation. He's built a structure. And although... There's a sense of him holding on to it, and he's doing so in order to spread his wealth to all those that he loves rather than holding him. You know what I mean? So there are red flags going off. There are synchronistic, synchronistic signs that are going off. Um, and they're, it's like they're being made more um, obvious and so what I'm feeling with this card in, in the fear position is like, do I really want to play this game again? Do I really want to stay in a situation like this? Um, you know, and it, it, there, it's like it doesn't hold any value for him anymore. He fears being caught up in that game again. And so there's a sense that he wants to release himself from it. Oh, there's my daughter again. Sorry if you can hear. Okay, um, overall energy for the reading is serendipity. Uh, so when I shut off the camera there, I didn't reshuffle the cards again. I usually do that. So just know I don't mess with the cards. I don't look at the cards. I don't need to do that. I trust that spirit will give me the message uh, that is required. Okay, so serendipity. Again, that kind of points to the fates. Oh, and round around it as well. Okay, so number 18. So this is the overall energy of the reading. Yeah, we're, it's um, just before school starts on the 7th. Um, our town has this massive festival, so that we have the fair in town, and they're doing um, um, fireworks tonight. So, it's, and I love it when the community comes together like that. We need to do that more as a world. You know what I mean? Like back in the '50s, they used to have block parties, um, and you know, if somebody moved into the neighborhood, you would bring over a gift or an offering and welcome them in. So, you know, that sense of community seems to be restricted. It only happens at certain times of the year. So, but I just really love it. Anyway, um, so serendipity. 
Opportunity aligned with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, a magical alignment of events. So the message, you've stepped into alignment with greater good, where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in exquisite harmony. Now is a time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that could never have plan been planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now, as a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the wor whole world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into the, to being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Wow, that's what I was saying. Leaving a leg legacy. Giving. Um, your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much. Relationship message. Spirit has a plan and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important in your journey. Someone spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. So, <clears throat> masculine, please pay attention to synchronistic signs. Don't ignore them. You're being guided. Um, serendipity. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaids, and I'll read that to you for a final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the masculine? Mermaid with baby alligator. Okay. My buoyant baby, slight and new, rugged leather lined with dew, firm and fit, poised to attack, falling forward, snapping back. A bathing beauty keeps a close watch over her baby, a thick-skinned striped alligator hatchling. The young reptile's sharp teeth and rough exterior are in sharp contrast to his mistress's delicate loveliness. So the meaning, remember your resilience. Life can be tough lately and things have been taking their t emotional toll. Yet, in spite of everything, you are doing all right. You are not just a victim of your circumstances, you are a survivor. Like the alligator, you have the courage, strength, and hardiness to deal with challenges and handle life setbacks with renewed determination. You have been blessed with all the tools necessary to maintain a sense of well-being, be it patience, faith, or even a sense of humor in the face of adversity. You have what it takes to remain resilient, even though the tough times will not be going away anytime soon. Focus on your resilience, and you will become, you will come out stronger. So yeah, it really points to these tough decisions that the masculine is making. Um, yeah, all right, so uh, let me know if this resonates, guys. Um, I really, really appreciate your feedback. It let me, lets me know if I'm on the right track. Um, all right, so I love you, and I shall see you on the 15th. All right, peace.